Hello, my name is Dan Allen from danallenfilms.com and here is my review for FX Factory Pro. FX Factory Pro is a collection of effects for Final Cut Pro 10 and an array of other host applications including Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects and also Apple Motion. A free trial is available when you install the FX Factory software, which is a great platform to purchase, enable, disable and try out new plugins for your video software. FX Factory Pro includes 160 Final Cut Pro 10 plugins and 16 more when you use it with Final Cut Pro 7 Motion and the Adobe applications. One of my favourite things about FX Factory Pro was the fact that one licence gave you access to these familiar tools across different host applications. So when I had to work on a project in Premiere Pro, I found all the same familiar tools available to me as I'm used to working in Final Cut Pro 10. Presets were also one of them surprisingly empowering utilities in Final Cut Pro 10, having pre-made visual looks and effects that could then be tweaked later on. FX Factory Pro essentially builds on this by giving you an array of new effects, and although they aren't particularly original, they do strengthen your pre-existing library. As with most Final Cut Pro 10 effects, you can save your own presets, so it's easy to see FX Factory Pro as perhaps a starting point for an even bigger library of effects and presets that will grow the more you use it. Another plus, if this is your kind of thing, is that FX Factory Pro gives you access to developer tools that allows you to create your own plugins without writing any code. This isn't something I personally have ventured in, but it's a great concept and it will allow FX Factory software to grow, possibly exponentially. One selling point of FX Factory Pro is its GPU acceleration, but since I'm running off a MacBook Pro, I can't comment on this. I found that on my 2011 system, a lot of the effects took considerably longer to render than the built-in effects in Final Cut Pro 10, such as the vignette effect, which to its advantage was more customizable than the built-in one, but it was a lot slower than Final Cut Pro 10's built-in one. I suppose you'll have to give the trial a run and see how it fares on your own machine. One of my favourite individual effects is the particle system generator, which is an overwhelmingly customizable particle generator. That's a bit of a mouthful. Throw in a few additional effects and filters such as the light streaks and you can create some really interesting effects to use with text and create cool motion graphics meaning you'll never actually have to leave the Final Cut Pro 10 application even for the most complicated titling effects. Overall I found FX Factory Pro a very useful product, the multiple host applications and extensive library to be used as a foundation to create even more effects which make it incredibly resourceful and a resource of its own. The accompanying FX Factory software is also useful and the ability to enable and disable different plugins for easy access to the plugins you want rather than having to scroll through a load of lists is also very powerful. On the other hand though, this is a very expensive plugin which actually sets you back $100 more than Final Cut Pro 10 itself. But then again, unlike most plugins, you're buying a license not for a single application but for a variety of host applications. Additionally, you also get the tools to make your own plugins, so if you like creating new looks and effects, then this is the plugin for you. However, if you barely use any of Final Cut Pro 10's own plugins, then you probably won't be getting your money's worth with this plugin. I haven't gone over many of the individual effects and filters in this video, but I hope to share some of my favourite ones with you in the near future, so keep your eye on the description and a list will accumulate over time. Anyway, thanks for listening. My name's Dan Allen from danallenfilms.com. Make sure you uh, like and comment and subscribe for more tutorials, short films and behind the scenes and music videos. And the likes and comments and everything really do help me out. Um, and they help share and spread the word. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new tutorial video or, or any of the things I named above.